Welcome back to the J.A. Cecil channel, everybody. Me and my boy Justin here, he's riding with. We're headed on an adventure today. So I actually just got done buttoning up the blue truck as you guys saw in the last video. And we uh, had to haul butt. It's uh, Thursday, we're headed up to Utah. Never been to Utah, pretty excited. Gonna be pretty awesome. Why am I going to Utah? The... To see the Mormons? The what? To see the Mormons? The, what's that? I don't know what you mean. I don't know that. <laughs> totally lost me on that one. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to Utah to uh, my buddy Jim York, uh, professional stuntman, semi-professional sunglass manufacturer and seller of Pit Vipers, Jim York. He has actually invited me up here for the Nitro Rally Cross. They're going to have a big race, and apparently we're racing something. I have no idea. He said, there's pretty much no rules. I said, what am I going to be racing? He goes, I don't know yet. We'll figure that out when you get here. So I'm... We're just kind of going on a whim. We're going to fly to Utah and check out the place I've never been. So we'll see what happens. And don't forget, guys, we've got the JH Diesel. Whoa, right off the road. Oh, no. There's all kinds of stuff going on up here. This is bad. This is really bad, guys. Anyways, but we're good. We're buckled in. But JH Diesel merchandise, finisherlift.com. And this is unbelievable. So we got a traffic jammer. This is. We're just running so far behind right now. I really hope we don't miss our flight. That would suck. But anyways, yeah, so now we're in a traffic jam, so we'll see how this goes. But anyways, guys, finisherlift.com, at baldeagle.com, whatever, the shirt, pick it up, merchandise, hat. And don't forget, every $5 you spend at baldeagle.com on JH Diesel merchandise gets you one entry to win the SRT10 Viper truck. So that is a kick-ass ride. I have not seen it in person yet, so I can't tell you I've personally seen it, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty awesome. And every five bucks gets you one entry, guys. So keep that in mind. You can be riding, riding around in a Viper SRT10 truck, manual, ripping the streets up. Anyways, guys, we will see you either at the airport, Utah, I don't know yet. I'll see you whenever I get my phone back out and start filming. You got the smallest bag. I like your satchel, dude. My satchel. I can also wear this as a uh, fanny pack if I want. Garza would love that. <laughs> oh, oh man, dude, did you get a smaller carry on? You no, know, I wanted to make sure I was compliant with all the all the rules of the road here. <laughs> I got the guy hadn't been on air, guy hadn't been on an airplane in 22 years. He said, "All right, we made it to Utah." place is pretty awesome we got here when it was dark but just looking out here it looks pretty sick so we're at the little america hotel and uh pretty fan a little too fancy for us but uh we'll take it the grand america is across the street definitely way too fancy for us but... Look at that train. <laughs> <laughs> the train there's a road train all right let's get in this thing dude don't get stuck don't get stuck in here Dude, what do you think of the ride we got here? Old school freaking Bigfoot. Look at this thing. God dang, brother. Hey, man. Big old. What are you hauling with this thing, dude? Yeah, you know, running over cars and stuff? Yeah, just lots of sunglasses. Mostly. What a show. For, what a ride. Our Uber is lit. All right, so we're out here checking out the uh, Pit Viper warehouse. These guys got this place stacked. Jarek, our tour guide, our logistics guy and tour guide. We got some hats, we got shirts, we got everything in this place. What do you think, man? It's pretty slick. It is like pretty it. badass. You there we go. Hats? There Hell go. yeah, dude. Number one, baby. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. This thing is, uh, this place is, you guys have a lot of stock. All right, so we made it. Still don't know what we're doing yet. Jimmy York said, bring a helmet, come to Utah. So we showed up that we have these three gems here. Jim, what are we doing? We still don't know. I love Nobody it. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what we're doing. Oh, we have cars. Nitro Rally Cross. We don't have a clue. We have cars. And we have a limo. We have a station wagon. We have a Cougar. How oh, dare you? This is the Bill Blast. Lincoln Mark 7. Lincoln Mark, Mark 7. Wow. I think it's fancy right there. So, yeah. I, still, what are we doing? I love it. I love it. I love this, you know. Hey, we got inside. That was half the battle. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, hey, uh, we're a pit viper guy. Like, oh, cool, you're good. Let's go in. <laughs> Jim didn't answer his phone, so we were like, what do we do? I don't know. You got nitrous on all of them or just a limo? These two. 
Nice. He'll blast. He's nice. a fancy person. Luxury doesn't need nitrous. That is a luxurious car right there. Absolutely. This one is the this one is the wild car too, in that we bought it two days ago. Know nothing about this car. Other than it is pristine. The guy babied it and was like really worried. He he did ask, what are you guys gonna do with it? But like Find it my grandpa. Real answer? <laughs> We're gonna go probably break it but <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, well, I still know what we're doing, but this place is awesome. You got Subaru, Yokohama's here. This is a, I can't wait to watch these guys rip this track through. I've never in my life seen a real rally car run, so that's going to be pretty sick to see. I haven't seen that yet, and uh, really excited about seeing that. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, mine's blown. Track's over there. I'm going to check that out and see what everything's about. Justin, what do you think so far, dude? It's pretty cool. This is sick. Look at the jump. That jump is 130 feet. They're going to hit it with the rally cars. That's part of the track. They X in the middle um, underneath that jump. So that is, they have a jump under that jump. And these guys are going to be running. I don't know how many cars are going to be running, but this is going to be some intense racing. 130 feet though. I would love to hop in one of these cars and rip it, but I don't have the insurance or money for that. So we're going to watch today, but man, would it be sick to go take a rip around this track? I <laughs> I mean, this is what an awesome thing, man. This is cool. We're, uh, I have no idea what we're doing still. He just said we're doing a happy hour. So I can't wait for that. And uh, this thing's got nitrous somewhere. It's got a welded rear end. And uh, it's kind of, it's a floater. She's floating pretty good. Big old, got a lot of room. We can put some people back there. I'm liking it. We'll see. We're the happy hour halftime show. We're gonna go practice, see what the cars do. They haven't been tested. It's okay. But uh, we'll test them and take care of that. <laughs> modify as needed. Yeah, mo we'll test them, then modify as needed. You said it, buddy. I wonder if they put the nitrous on a button or if it's like a wide open throttle. <laughs> Didn't tell me much. It said get the car and drive. All right. Which had, you know, was at we're suited up. We're gonna see what happens. Still don't know what we're doing. Honestly, still in the dark. Ready?
Yeah. I know. I like getting into a spot like that. I don't know. Oh, 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 I think we finally figured out how to make this thing drift a little bit. So, luckily, let's see if I, see if I stay strapped in. My seatbelt came off that time. check oil light. I think we're actually pretty good. So, yeah. Honestly, a little tiring. <laughs> I'm like hitting the, I'm hitting the brake. So I, I gotta watch it because I actually almost lost the brake, I think. So I gotta be careful for tomorrow. So, let's see what we're really gonna do tomorrow because, I don't know. Shit's rowdy. <laughs> I gotta have a lot more power if I turn my air conditioner off. <laughs> Yeah, you got one. Oh my god. Just picked up idle, did you hear it? Mm -hmm. It will not do a burnout though. Like it's like, nope, not doing it. No way. So the best thing to do when cars get hot like this, you just twist the cap off and then it cools everything down. It's just like yellow skin. So that's the organs. Something's wrong with it. Yeah, I checked out and it's flooding the motor out. So it's like don't oh, do it. It's it's literally start like I turn it on and it just balls by turning it off. Damn it, that's what's the gas that Yeah, well good news is is my car didn't break yet, but it definitely has the least power. It's a very big turd. I did have the AC on, which might not have helped. It's still a turd. This thing's a heavy car. We're gonna have to push Jim out of here. Hi, Nicely done. I've had to push a few things in my life. All right, so our test session, there's reasons we do test sessions for things just like this. Jim's car has not stayed running this is why now. I don't do test sessions. <laughs> Jim doesn't make it past the test session. Uh -uh. My car is running okay. The nitrous is not working. We're gonna hopefully get that figured out. The diff is welded, so it's just kind of pulling the power down. Food. Her car, I don't know, Gabby's car, what happened with you? Nothing happened. That was the was issue. Nothing. <laughs> no, like I'm out here on an open diff. 
and like I need more air Open to dip, no nitrous. We all need, yeah, we, we have, we found the shop, we confiscated the shop. So now that we confiscated this shop, we're gonna fix all the stuff that's wrong and we're gonna be back out there and better than ever for tomorrow. So we might get one more test session, might not, might just have to send it. You guys get one more, I'm done with testing. You're done? No, I'm testing! No more testing for Jim. We're all, we're all show and go now. <laughs> all right guys, so let's do that, we'll see what happens. All right, so, hey, that. Jim, what'd you do? Did what I do best. Break everything. Broke. But you can break it tomorrow during the event, but the practice you're not That's supposed to I break. That's why I don't practice. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> so we think that the uh, fuel pump took a crap. We're gonna basically pop this off here. This is the fitting they put in for the nitrous system. We'll pop that off, see if we got any fuel pressure come to the rail. And the regulator's pushing out the back of the rail also. Um, and the vacuum line was off that too. So do a couple things, see what happens, see if it's got fuel pressure coming out of this. And if it doesn't, then we know it needs a fuel pump and we can get a fuel pump, right? We have a fuel pump coming. We have a fuel pump coming. All right. I think it's because Gabby's here. She, what? last time she was here, she broke basically everything. I'm just trying to take a page out of her book. So we have two people here and I, you know, I actually break a lot of <laughs> stuff too. This is... <laughs> I'm sure it's not just Who did you... us. <laughs> We have three people apparently that just break everything. So uh, we have one person that knows how to fix it. It's <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see what happens. We have a fuel pump coming. We'll check that pressure, and hopefully that's all the problem is, and we can get Jim back on the road. That would. All right, so with further diagnostics, after Justin looked over and saw the box was blown to pieces, um, Jim, did you hold the nitrous on? I don't see a problem. I believe we had a nitrous <laughs> backfire too. And we need a mass airflow sensor now. So, uh. Do we need that? We need that. Yes. Oh, that's shit. definitely a must have. It's not going to run very well without yeah, the mass airflow sensor. Well. That'll All right. Crazy so that's, we got that. Let's still check the fuel pump because we still might have an issue there. And. I think so. I think this could another, be our whole I think issue. Got another Justin, problem. didn't we just have an issue like this we, exactly. a week ago? The identical thing. Unbelievable. We're not having very good luck. Maybe it's my fault that the mass air flow sensor blew apart. Oh, well, we just brought the brake team. Look at that. Oh, look at that. And not like stop, but you know what's crazy is the little uh your little uh the little fingers in the fingers are still there. They're still there. Yeah. I wonder if the screen. Huh. Oh nice. dude. So we're finding more and more wrong with it. We've got the uh, we got some vacuum lines that are blown off. We found some injector. Oh, there is a there's a Schrader valve right here too. Is there? Nice. So we got a Schrader valve back there. So, um, oh, we got fuel pressure. So we actually just might have all this uh, other stuff going on. Might not need a fuel pump at all, but finding the mass airflow sensor might be a pain. Yeah. <sighs> this won't be hard. We will get no, that. That's a big deal. So. See, I didn't hear the fire or the backfire. Everybody else heard it. I, I didn't. So I'm worried that the nut is bro or the threads are broke off in that. We're gonna have to zip tie that back on or something. I think it probably blew that sensor off the back. I think so. <laughs> I did pretty good job. <laughs> Jim, let's put nitrous on limos. Only works when I do it. <laughs> I didn't do we just got back from the parts store. We got some parts that we needed. Uh, we ended up figuring out the fuel pressure is good. The problem was when it backfired, it blew the mass airflow sensor apart, blew a bunch of other stuff apart. So we got the new mass airflow sensor in and we got our our custom cap just in case. Part of our problem was it didn't have an air freshener <laughs> under the hood. <laughs> what a perfect plug we have. It smells great under here now. <laughs> Bring the ocean to Utah. It smells so good. Don't want to get oh, too much man. released at one time. I think all we got left is to put that uh, little vacuum line on there. You already put the bolt in the back or no, oh, yeah. it didn't work? Oh yeah. Oh, you got it in the I back it, there? Fuel pressure regulator's back in. So we basically have this one vacuum line here and uh, and the air box and we're good. All right, so we got it back together. What do you think? Yes or no? Send it. Huh? Amazing, absolutely amazing, the things that you can do. Easton, what do you got there in your hand? 
That's that South Florida line lock. Huh? South Florida line lock for the rear, baby. Oh, we gotta do mine too while we're here because this thing is a freaking turd, dude. I was not impressed with the horsepower coming out of this rig. Where are the jets? We need bigger jets. He said they took the bigger jets and took them out. I think we just need the bigger ones in there now. I can tell you, when we went to do the fuel pump, we would have immediately stopped because it has a new fuel pump in it. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Good thing we didn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got that little thing. There so we got, go. guys, so you guys are filling up over here. Stop. We got Jim York, professional oh, stunt shit. man, semi-professional sunglass manufacturer, seller, and, uh, not a mechanic. <laughs> hey, make sure to move that move that pan and sit underneath that so the fluid doesn't hit the ground. I just moved it. Yeah, but you want to be under the fluid. I don't. I moved it when it's coming out. <laughs> you're not you're not understanding what I'm saying. You understand the words? Because you're speaking mechanical. This is good. Cheers. <laughs> Oh man! Hey Jim, you get you get that thing down there? I think it should be done pretty soon. All right. Man, that's really on there. Oh, it's on the. Uh, so we're gonna tell you how this trip went. I got a call. Said, "Hey, come to Utah to do something." He didn't tell me I was coming to Utah to weld differentials and jack cars up and everything else. He's like, you're gonna be driving. Oh, really? We'll see about <laughs> that. Sorry. No, you're fine. Like, I was like, I bet. <laughs> Man, that fluid looks <laughs> fresh. <laughs> Your rear end's leaking. It only has 30,000 miles. Weld it and lube up. All right, one down. Ready to fresh. Jim's got, Jim, we're gonna leave you here for a little bit. We'll be back tomorrow. We should make Jim weld it. Absolutely. Yeah, Jim, you're welding this. I just said, like, you guys already fixed something. If you want to fix another thing, I... Operation weight reduction complete. She was just too quiet for me. Couldn't do it. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's where the spare tire goes. <laughs> Yes, sir. She's sounding pretty good now. Cool. All right, guys. So uh, we got the limo going. Eason and myself got that thing ripping. We got the brakes pinched off on both the rides. And uh, feeling pretty good about tomorrow. It should be a pretty good time. Pretty fun. We're going to weld the rear end up on uh, the uh, red car that Gabby's driving. And uh, it should be pretty cool. We'll see how that thing goes. And uh, let's hope for the best. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching Jay Cecil's channel. See you next time.